I'm Elizabeth and I'm here to present to you the March 2016 the American Girls 99 family update. Holy cow, that was the biggest sentence I have ever said in my entire life. So obviously, I'm the first doll added into the family and um, yeah, um, I was added here in December of 2005. Um, there's really not that much more about to say about me, but uh, yeah, first doll here. So much fun. Hey guys, I'm Nellie, and I'm the second doll to have been brought into this family. Uh, fun fact, I was the first doll to ever have been purchased at American Girl Place. So I was bought at the American Girl Place in New York City the first time that my mom went in November of 2006. Hey guys, I'm Mia, and I'm the third doll added to this family, and obviously the favorite. <laughs> but basically, um, my mom should have just stopped with me, but obviously that didn't happen. Yeah. I was got June 2008 for my mom's half birthday, and um, even though I'm already almost eight years old, um, my mom still loves me more than anyone else. So, take that, people! Hey guys, I'm Samantha, and I'm the fourth doll to enter this family. Uh, let's see, I was received as a birthday present uh, in December 2008 for my mom's 12th birthday. And my mom wanted to get me before my archival, so, uh, yeah, here hey I am. Hey guys, I'm Brandy, and I am the fifth doll to enter into this family. And um, I'm actually the first, um, just like you, my AG, truly me, whichever you prefer to call it, doll to enter this family too. So that's a fun fact about me. I'm number 41, for those of you who are potentially wondering. And um, yeah, another trivia fact is that way back when, when my mom first got me, she did a survey um, on YouTube, which no one answered, by the way, and around her neighborhood and asked all of her friends what she thought I should be named. And in the end, um, she ended up picking Brandy, which is my name. So there you go. Fun fact for all of you. Hey guys, I'm Felicity and I'm the sixth doll to enter this family. Um, my mom wanted to get me before my archival in 2011. Um, and she got me for Christmas from her mom, um, Christmas 2009 with my twin sister, Rebecca, who you'll see in a minute. So, um, there you go. Hi, I'm Rebecca, and, um, I'm the seventh doll to enter this family. Um, I was also gone on Christmas 2009 with my twin, Felicity. Um, I was given to my mom by her dad actually on Christmas. Um, I was opened a little bit after Felicity. She was open in the morning, I was open in the afternoon. So um, I'm the younger twin out of the two of us. And um, yeah, I really like living here. Hey guys, I'm Nikki and I'm the eighth doll added into this family. I was purchased June 2010 from eBay and I had cut hair and all that fun, lovely stuff. My mom then sent me to the doll hospital and I came back in June, like right before she was supposed to go on vacation. And so that's officially when I got home and was added to the family. And um, I've lived here ever since and it's, it's amazing to be here. I was always a doll that my mom wanted, and um, so she was looking around on eBay for months because the prices for me were completely and totally outrageous. She was in a bidding war, and she managed to win me at $92, and then she paid $40 to send me to the hospital and a new head, so she ended up paying $140 in total for me, but she says it was completely and totally worth it to do it again just for me. Hey guys, I'm Krissa, and I am actually the 10th doll to have been added to this family. Um, the ninth doll um, was an unfinished custom that my mom has still not finished, and at this time we don't know if she ever will, but you know, we're, we're, do, we're working on it. Anyway, um, so I was a tenth doll added to this family, and my story is one that my mom definitely cherishes. So basically, she was never expecting to get me, she wasn't interested in buying me, 
And one day, one of her best friends, who's also one of her neighbors, knocked on her front door with me in tow. She was my original mom. And my mom opened the door and basically she said, I'm not interested in my dolls anymore. And I was wondering if you were like my Krissa and my mom. And I was like, oh my God, are you for real? And she was like, yeah. And she was like, are you sure? And her friend said, yes. And she, and she was like, are you sure? And she was like, yes. And she was like, are you sure? And her friend was like, well, if you don't want her. And my mom was like, are you kidding? I'll take her. And so I was handed over and she's like, I'm going to go play with my new doll. And that's how I was adopted in this family. And because I was adopted this family, my mom also kind of realized um, just um, how beautiful Gwen and Sonali are. And that kind of started the conquest um, in looking for reasonable Gwens and Sonalis. So that was definitely a very interesting story. And the other interesting part about me is my original mom, she got me for $1 at a raffle at her school. Isn't that crazy? Hey guys, I'm Hannah and I am the 11th doll to have entered this house. So I am also the second, um, just like you, my EG, truly me, whichever you prefer to call it, doll to be, you know, brought here. And um, I was actually purchased by my mom um, on her third birthday trip to the American Girl Place in New York City. And it's really funny story how that happened because she was looking on AJ's website, you know, trying to figure out which shawl she was going to bring home. And she saw me and she immediately fell head over heels in love. And basically, um, what happened was she saw that I was supposedly back ordered until like two months from then. And my mom was like, oh God, what if you don't find her? Because a year prior, Brandy was in the AG place and she had to order her. Um, and so she and AM went in with a plan um, to basically go run, split up and find me before anyone else could. And so they went in, stormed the place, ran, and on that circular thing that's surrounded with dolls, like in the book area, literally they were, they were both running towards it. And my mom yelled, split up! And they completely broke apart and they both went around a different side of the um, little like circle. And literally they were looking at the numbers and my mom was getting closer and closer. And she literally yelled, found her! And AM came running around and she grabbed my box and held it to her. And that was it. I was brought home. And it is definitely one of the fondest memories that my mom holds. And um, I'm really happy that I gave her that. Hey guys, I'm Allison Lacey, and I am the 12th adult at this house. This is so awesome. Anyway, I am the third, just like you, my EG, truly me, whichever, 22. And I was got for my mom's birthday in 2011, right before Kanani. So I am slightly older than her, even though I'm eight and she's six foot. Whatever, we share a birthday in which we came into this house. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I was just given to my mom by, um, her dad for her birthday in 2011. So it was her 15th birthday. Yup. Hey guys, I'm Kanani and I am the 13th doll to have been added to this family and clearly the most, um, desired and, uh, coveted doll in the AG fandom. So it's kind of a blessing for my mom to have me. Um, so I was given to my mom for her birthday by her mom in 2011, um, a few hours after my mom received Vasilisley from her dad, actually. So um, yeah, and fun fact is that the opening video of her opening me is the most viewed and most popular video on her YouTube channel to date. And it has over 244,000 views. So it's kind of mind blowing to everybody here. And we can't wait to see just how many views it ends up getting. Hey, I'm Jade and uh, I'm the 14th doll added to this family. I am a custom. So I was originally a Kirsten doll bought on eBay and I have a Ruby by Galleria wig and it's, uh, I think it's a wavy parting wig. It's either wavy or curly, I can't remember. It's probably wavy. Um, and custom 
you know, I had made cheeks, cheek repaint kind of fix because I was pretty pale and uh, purple lips. And uh, as you can see on my left ear, I have a extra piercing up top on my ear. Uh, so here I am, I'm supposed to be Jade West from Victorious. So here I am all gothed up for you. Uh, so, there you go. Hey guys, I'm Kenna, and I'm the 15th doll to have entered this family. Um, I think I'm definitely another one of the AG fandom's favorites. I'm definitely not as big as Kanani, but, you know. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, I was ordered on, uh, the second I queue up on the AG website on, uh, New Year's Day, um, 2012, when I released, and, um, so pretty much, you know, um, I came in the mail on the 6th, which is actually only two days after my mom received Jade fully completed. So um, I'm technically two days younger, younger than her in the order of um, receivement. Is it even a word? I just made it one. Receivement is now a word, you guys. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Caroline and I'm the 16th doll to have entered this house. Um, I am most obviously my mom's favorite historical, and I am also the most recently archived historical. Boo! <laughs> um, anyway, I was purchased by my mom at uh, the Washington, D.C. American Co. Play store. Picked me out herself a couple days after my release, and, um, it's been love at first sight, you know? She's loved me, and, uh, it's incredible being here. And... Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Sonali and I'm the 17th doll to enter this house. Um, I'm obviously very, very rare to be seen in a collection. Um, but it's because, you know, people didn't realize my beauty until, you know, it was too late and I was retired. And many people didn't buy me when I was available to American Girl. So, um, essentially eBay it's hard to find me in good condition and for a good price and with all my things My mom got very lucky found me in good condition with my entire meat outfit for a good price and I Was picked in advance, but I was given to my mom for her 16th birthday in December 2012 so um and It was a great present for my mom and it made her birthday Hey, it's Sonali again, and I'm here with Gwen. Mm. But the thing with Gwen is, she is autistic, so they allowed me to stay in here and let her, make her, you know, comfortable while she's sitting here. And I have to do the talking for her anyway, because she probably wouldn't. I want to leave, Sonali. I know, just another minute. So, Gwen was given to my mom for Christmas 2012 and she was again um picked beforehand mm, and um she loves this hat so she wears it all the time now um yeah she was got um she was she was pretty much new in box which was the big shocker about this and she was in great condition but uh she's she's autistic but um we love her she has Asperger's I want to leave. Okay, we're done now. Thank you, Gwen. <laughs> hey, I am Sage, and I am the 19th doll in this family. Um, I was purchased, um, along with Savannah, who is coming after me, at the American Girl Place in Washington, D.C. in July of 2013. And, um... I was opened a few minutes earlier than Savannah, as Savannah was a surprise to viewers, um, and my mom, quite honestly. Um, but, uh, so I am slightly older than Savannah in the chronological order in which we were bought, but she is older than me age-wise, so. A little bit of an interesting tidbit for you there. Um, yeah, my mom can't get enough of my hair, she says most beautiful curly haired wig ever but anyway <laughs> um i'm gonna go hey guys i'm savannah and i was the big two zero doll to be added to this family 
I also happen to be the fourth, just like you, my and G, truly me again, whichever you prefer, to have been brought into this family, and I am number 60. Um, I was the secret and surprise doll for the viewers on my mom's July 2013 trip to the American Girl Place in Washington, D.C., and I was open only like five minutes after Sage, who was also purchased on that trip. So, chronologically, a few minutes younger than she is. Age-wise, I'm a few years older than she is. And I also happen to be the almost identical twin to Hannah. Um, so yeah, that's all you really need to know about me. <laughs> hey, I'm Molly and I'm the 21st doll to enter this family. I was received by my mom on her birthday in 2013, um, right before my archival. And, um, you know, my, I was really a surprise. <laughs> Because, you know, my mom never had any sense of interest or, you know, consideration in having wanted me or been interested in me or liked me in any way. And, you know, a bunch of pictures and videos of me were popping up on YouTube and Instagram. And basically, she just ended up falling in love with me and had to have me before I disappeared. So, it was a shock to her just as much as it was a shock to everyone else. Um, but I'm happy to be here. Hey guys, I'm Emily and I am the 22nd doll to enter this house. Um, I was gifted to my mom uh, for Christmas of December 2013. And uh, yeah, I was one of those dolls that my mom fell in love with upon launch and seeing me in the catalog and online. But I was actually never purchased until right before my archival. And so she knew when I was archiving, she's like, oh, I have to get Emily now. And I also at the same time kind of hit her, my love, her love for Molly. And so she ended up getting both of us. And it was a huge shock to everyone because my mom never ever mentioned like or love for Molly or myself. And so when we were brought into the family, everyone's just like, whoa. Like, this is weird. Hey guys, I'm Isabel and I'm the 23rd doll to enter this family. Um, I am definitely not one of the most popular girl of the years, but um, there are definitely people overcharging for me now that I'm retired, so. Shame on you, people! Um, anyway, um, <laughs> my mom ordered me, um, the second, you know, I showed up on the American Girl website on New Year's Day of 2014. And I arrived about a week later, and here I am. She's been enamored with me ever since. Hey guys, I'm Lainey, and I am the 24th doll to enter this family. Um, my mom actually, you know, was looking around eBay, and it kind of, you know, she wasn't just looking to buy something. She was just looking around, seeing what deals she could find, yada yada. She came across me. For $78, I did have cut hair, so I did have to go to the hospital. Um, and, uh, so, you know, uh, I came with most of my meat outfit and my, um, you know, my, uh, nightgown and my, um, what's called? My laptop bag. Sorry, space. And, uh, she just... It was the total spur of the moment purchase, but she ended up getting me. And, uh, you know, basically, um, I was sent to the hospital. I wasn't sent to the hospital until, like, October. Because um, I was ordered and I was bought and I came here in February. And then I didn't get um, my new head until um, October. So, I came back late October with my new head with curls. And that's my story. Hi. I'm Marie Grace, and I'm the 25th doll out of this family. Um, so I was surprised. Um, my mom heard about the mass archival of me, Cecile, Ruthie, and Ivy, and basically decided she had to have Cecile and I completely and totally, like, spur of the moment, because ever since we were released, she never had any interest in either of us. And all of a sudden, pictures on Instagram, a visit to the American Girl Place DC, and BAM! She's hooked. So, we 
y'all came home in May of 2014, very shortly after we were announced at the archive. And my mom loved Ruthie, like, ever since she was released. And so she knew someday when she was archiving, she was going to get Ruthie. But Cecile and I were a surprise. And so we were all ordered at the same time. Cecile and I were kept because we, you know, we were fine. We were perfect. And Ruthie had to go back to the American Girl store. And my mommy was going to get another one, but Ruthie sold out. So, you know, she had to get one off eBay for a reasonable price. And that crushed her, as you guys remember. But in the end, things all turned out okay, right? Hey guys, I'm Cecile, and I am the 26 doll out of this family. And I was bought at the same time as Marie Grace um, in May. And she was only opened like two or three minutes before I was. Um, maybe a little bit more, like five. Very, very short amount of time she was open before me. Um, although that chronological birth time or whatever you want to call it is not the same as our age difference. She's like six and I'm eight. So, you know, what are you going to do? Um... You know, my mom never showed any interest in me or Marie Grace, so it was a huge surprise to everybody when she ended up bringing both of us home. Not one of us, not none of us, but literally just both of us. Same time, no warning, just, I think I'm going to get Marie Grace and Cecile today. It happened. Um, but, you know, I love it here. This family is really chaotic, but I have a lot of good friends in this house, and um, I definitely feel like I would have missed out if I hadn't been brought here. Hey guys, I'm Bella Olivia, and I'm the 27th doll brought into this family. So, my mom has wanted number 49, which is the Just Like You, My AG, Truly Me, whichever number um, that I am. And uh, so, she was searching on eBay one day for, you know, obviously dolls in good condition. Again, <laughs> she's that a lot. And uh, she searched up you know number 49 and I was up and I was dressed in an outfit that she didn't own and I was in pretty much perfect condition and I had my ears pierced by my previous owner um but she snapped me up for $86 and uh the rest was history I was part of the family um in August 2014 and I remained here ever since so um it's super awesome Hey, I'm Sierra Rain, and I am the 28th doll brought into this family, and um, I was actually purchased at the American Girl Place in Orlando when my mom visited there for the first time when she was in Florida for, you know, her um, medical treatments in December of 2014, and um, she wasn't initially planning on buying a doll there, but she ended up spending her 18th birthday there which was a huge bummer for her. And so, you know, as a result, her mom, which is my grandmother, took her to the American Girl Place in Orlando to cheer her up. And um, AG at the time was running a deal where if you bought a doll, then you would end up, you know, giving a doll to a kid for charity who was in the hospital. And my mom thought that was a brilliant idea because she was already thinking about getting a doll anyway, so that ended up happening. And two fun facts regarding me. One, um, I have been a doll that my mom had wanted for five years before she finally ended up buying me. And, um, two, um, I actually almost wasn't purchased at the American Couple Center Orlando. My mom was, like, dreaming, literally she had a dream of number 61, which she still doesn't have. But, um, they, one, sold out of 61 at the American Couple Center Orlando, like, how does that happen? How do you sell out of a doll that like just came out at the time around the holidays? Like it's baffling. But um, you know, I was also looking really pretty in all of the displays and I was torturing my mom. And so as a result, she finally ended up bringing me home. And ever since she's been so ecstatic that she finally did because she fell head over heels for me. And for those of you wondering, I also am 
um, number 30, um, and that's my number for you to know, um, just like you, my AG, truly me, whichever. So, here you go. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Ruby, and I'm the 29th doll to have been added into this family. Um, basically, the thing is, though, I'm not the original Ruby. What happened was my mom ordered me, Marie Grace, and Cecile from AG in May, like right after it was announced that we all, plus Ivy, were getting archived. And she kept Marie Grace and Cecile because they were perfect, you know, perfect specimens of the doll. Like she was happy with them. But with me, I had a eye defect and a hair defect. And so she sent me back going to exchange, you know, me. But Basically, what happened was she didn't exchange it in time and they sold out. And so from there, she had to go on eBay and scour for the perfect Ruthie for the perfect price. And so she finally managed to get me um, late December um, for the right price. She was scouring eBay. She kept scouring eBay and so she for the right one. And she so here I am. My hair was really, really dry and my eyebrow was like partially rubbed off on my left eye, but um, I ended up getting a new head and so I came back in October of 2015 with Lainey because we were both sent to hospital, to hospital at the same time. So it took her like 10 months to send me to a hospital. And it took her seven months to find me again. And she only paid $100 to me at eBay. And she paid $46 to get my head replaced. But in the end, it ended up being the perfect happy ending. Because I'm here, finally. Because I was also one of those dolls that she fell head over heels for when I was released. And that love kind of faded a bit. Um, but she knew that I would be bought before I archived. And so... It didn't exactly happen that way, but I'm still here, so that's all that matters, right? Hey guys, I'm Anastasia Adeline, and I am the big 30th doll in this family. Um, Basically, I was another one of those dolls that was on the wish list for like a really long time. So my mom wanted me for like three or four years before she ended up actually getting me, which is nuts. But, um, so, in November of 2015, my mom took her infamous trip to New York, and she did plan a meetup um, at the American Girl Place in New York City, and nobody came, but that's okay. Anyway, um, she saw that they were doing another one of those, um, the same promotion as Sierra Rain, um, where if you buy a doll from American Girl... Um, they are going to give a doll to a child in need at a hospital. And so she saw that going on and she wasn't planning on getting a doll when she was there, but she called her grandmother and asked her if for her birthday or Hanukkah present, her choice, that if she could possibly get a doll while she was at the American Girl Place. And, so, and she explained the whole charity thing and her grandmother agreed. And, uh, so she picked me out and she brought me home, but she did not open me until, um, actually a few days after her birthday on camera. So December 2015, I officially arrived into the house and, um, she's been so happy with me. Like from the moment she opened my box, she was head over heels in love with me. Um, so very ecstatic. Again, Another fun fact is, again, she was this close to getting 61 instead of me. And she ended up choosing me instead because she couldn't find 61 in the store. So, um, it's very nuts that 61 is very elusive. And, um, who knows? Maybe she'll never end up in this house because she keeps getting away. Um, and I am also number 55. Um, and that's my number for, you know, being it just like you, my AG, truly me, whichever, for those of you who didn't know or were just simply wondering. Hey guys, I am Grace and I'm the 31st and most recent doll to enter this house. Woo! <laughs> my mom's been filming this for hours, so she's just completely and totally exhausted. Anyway, I was received for Christmas in 2015. 
um, from my mom's mom. And, um, you know, she's been very happy with me. She adores my hair and she is planning on pulling the braid out and straightening it soon. So, you know, it's very awesome. And I'm definitely very happy to be in the house. Alrighty guys, that is it for our March 2016 doll update video. Oh my god. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And um, that's a wrap.